Merry Christmas, you guys, to everyone out there celebrating Christmas. Happy holidays to those who aren't and anyone who is doing neither or anything or just having a regular day. I hope that it is a blessed day today. Anyways, today we are checking out, even though it is the Christmas spirit today, we have some people that were more like the Grinch on Christmas. In need of a live Christmas tree, recovering from filing bankruptcy, so can't afford one, but this is my first Christmas in a place of my very own and I'm hoping someone can help. Lovely. They then posted, free tree. It was given to me, but it's not the kind of tree I want, so I'm passing it on. Still need a tree if anyone has one taller and fuller. Pick up near Garrison and Mill Plain. Come on. Oh, it's so cute. No, we can't be greedy. You asked for a live tree. Someone gave you a tree to make your home Christmas spirit and it's not good enough for your standards. What did this tree do to you? My neighbor decorates for the holidays. It's nice, but it's the same decorations for the past 20 years. How can I nicely tell them we want something else? You don't tell them anything. We want something else. Okay then you go buy your own decorations and decorate your house however you want and you can just close your eyes when you look at mine. Putting my feelers out there, I may be available to house sit slash pet sit over Christmas and January. I'm a skilled veterinary nurse and will treat your pets like my own. I am known as the crazy cat lady but love dogs too. I will need access to a car and a well-stocked fridge and pantry and preferably a place with a pool. So you're looking for a vacation, a free Airbnb that has pets. Great, that's all you had to say. I can bring it for an extra five if you want it. I'll have my girlfriend with me, so you'll just need someone to haul the pieces into your place. Will you take 10? No, sorry, 20 if you pick it up or 25 if you want me to bring it. It's not worth me digging back out of my closet for 10 and I just keep it and give it to a friend's kid. Rude, oh. I didn't think that was rude. I'm at work and can't answer the phone, but if you aren't buying it for the prices I quoted, then no deal, no budging on it. My kids won't have a Christmas this year, thanks to you. I'm not responsible for whatever life choices you made where you can't afford $20 so your kids, oh. I hate when people do that. I've seen like, you ruined my kid's birthday. You ruined my, like what? I don't have anything to do with your kid's life. During this Christmas, can someone please watch my kids for free and maybe even give them some gifts? I'll be at relatives I haven't seen in a long time. I'm sorry. So you want someone to just like adopt your children for Christmas? Let me get this straight. You're asking for a stranger to watch your children for free while you leave them abandoned on a day meant for all family to be together? Who wants to bet this clown's family is not family at all? Are you out of your mind? It's a wonder nobody called CPS on your I'm right there with you on the concerns. Like, bring them with you if you're going to visit relatives. This is just absurd. Okay, someone is selling an Apple desktop for $350. That seems like a pretty legit deal. We're mid message here, but it says, and he can't start his job until February, so we are getting rid of some things we don't use. We have four computers, so we don't need it. I would love to have it, but I don't have $350. Well, it needs an internet recovery because I have to remove my iCloud account off of it. I can do it for 250, maybe even 225. Okay, okay. You can't give it to me for me. I think they meant free. Excuse me, like a free Christmas present. Apple products are very expensive. <laughs> Honestly, like 225, 250, like they're already coming down in the asking price. Take it or leave it. PlayStation 4 for my two young boys who love to play games with mommy but can't living in Sarnia. I'm not intending to sound rude, although this may come across that way. This is supposed to be for people in need. Kids need clothes and beds and love, not the newest PS4. I mean, even if you asked if anyone had a game system, but specifically a PS4, well, yes, specifically, my eldest is almost 12 and wants one of his own to play online games with me while I'm on mine. 
a way for him and myself to have a bit of quality time because kids these days have no real interest in things we grew up doing. So hey, why not stay with the times, right? You're missing the point. Apparently this was posted in a Facebook group like for anyone who needed things for their, their kids in need at Christmas time and then people could help and donate and stuff. So that's what they think is a necessity. I love this painting and being that it is Christmas time, my budget is tight. And well, since it's Christmas time, I'm hoping you could use the money as well. So I will get straight to it. Would you take 500 for it? I will pay immediately and you would have the funds quickly. If so, send me a link with the price change and I will buy it immediately. Thank you for your consideration and happy holidays. I'm sorry, but I can't do a discount of more than 50%. The best I can do is give $100 off. That's nice of you. I see it as getting paid for a piece more so than a discount. No answer. I want have this, $500 another day, just letting you know. This is obviously pretty pricey and it's that way for a reason. Hi, how much do you want for your car on Gumtree? $20,000, wait, what is this? It's Christmas day. Will you take $14,000 cash? Pick up this afternoon. No, price is not negotiable. Y'all are having this conversation on Christmas? <gasps> yeah, it says Friday the 25th of December, 2020. <gasps> Y'all, get off your phone. <laughs> Don't ruin my children's Christmas. My son wants a car. What's your absolute bottom line price you will take? Cash this afternoon. 18,181.82 plus GST bottom line. So 20,000. You're a it. <laughs> they were trying to buy their kid a car for Christmas a little last minute. Come on, did you like just forget to get them something? You're like, you know what? I'm gonna buy you a car today. Someone is offering a slightly used real Christmas tree. One slightly used real Christmas tree for sale, 11 feet tall. We had Christmas this morning, so no longer needed. Presents, lights, ornaments, tree holder, and anything else seen in the picture that is not the tree is not included. You are responsible for coming in, removing and spooling up the lights, carefully removing all ornaments and placing in storage bins and putting everything neatly in the basement before moving tree. Bring help as I will just be sitting here sipping my drink. You can have the tree once everything is put away and all the needles are cleaned up. My loss is your gain, last minute Christmas deal. So you're trying to have someone pay you a hundred dollars to come into your home and do all your Christmas cleanup, your Christmas tree takedown. The honesty is the worst part. Like I will be sipping my drink while you do all this by the way, so don't bother me. My better half and I are in desperate need of the following items. The first one is very desperate. We need a refrigerator. It can be white or chrome. We also need a couple good sized crock pots. And we also need a white six foot Christmas tree with lots of decorations. <laughs> Everything must be free. We have one other problem. We have no transportation. So please, we will need these things brought to us. Please and thanks in advance. A refrigerator I get, like life necessities. A Christmas tree doesn't really fall under that. So I just had to block a number on Blank's phone. It was a kid he went to school with that decided to make a group duo call slash chat with every kid from school he has a number for. So some of the people in this group are actually parents. So the kid who made the group is pretty much demanding that everyone give him something for Christmas. He wants a toy or AirPods. But then again, $20 is good because if everyone gives him $20, then he can go buy the AirPods. I'm reading all these messages and half of the people in the group have no idea who is sending these messages because no one has this kid's number saved. We all finally figure out who it is and one of the moms calls the kid's mom. The mom who called the kid's mom gets back in the group and lets us all know that according to the kid's mom, we all ruined her son's Christmas because we won't all give her kid $20 or just buy the AirPods for her kid's Christmas. So it's ruined. All of our kids are selfish and we are all selfish, horrible parents who don't deserve kids. That's great. All I can do is shake my head at this point. I don't even want to try to understand how someone could think that type of behavior is okay. Yeah, after all the videos I've done on like entitled people, I don't even try to understand that way of thinking. 
it's useless for us decent human beings to try to understand how someone can actually like think that way. Hey friends and family of and I, there's 86 people in this, holy moly. I am wanting to get blank a PS4 and Xbox One S for Christmas. His birthday this year, we didn't do anything, so I'm trying to make it really special and get the two gifts he really wants. <laughs> Lucky him. Yeah. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it could even be just a thought gift. The PS4 is $199 with three exclusive games. A white Xbox One S is $150. For example, if I got eight friends and family to pitch it for both, pitch in for both, it would be $45 each. If I got 10, it would only be about $35 each. I would absolutely love if any of you feel like making the Christmas one for the books. Please let me know you'd like to help out. If I can't get both, I am going to for sure get the PS4. So if I have eight friends and family, it would only be around $20 each. They literally tagged 86 people in this post. I can't imagine, like when I was a kid, my parents going online being like, like writing something like this. It's mortifying. And it's not even like, it's different if you're asking for help because your family is struggling and you're trying to get your kids like necessities, you know, but like, all right, y'all. Well, hopefully you don't have any Grinches at your Christmas today. And if you are not celebrating Christmas, I just hope you have a lovely day today. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Stay classy out there and stay sad.